So you've decided to come to MIT. Congratulations! The next four years will be filled with exciting new experiences and challenges. But the first question on your mind should be, where do I want to live? You see, at MIT, we have a unique housing system. Unlike other schools, which randomly assign you to a dorm, at MIT, you have a choice in where you live. We have 12 dorms and five cultural houses, all with their own traditions, personalities, and quirks. Above all, you'll live in a place where you feel comfortable. While this whole dorm selection process may seem overwhelming, it's our way of creating a situation where you can find a place that's best for you. So the MIT housing process really lets you get your own word in about where you want to be, which is really nice. But at the same time, it distributes you know, all these dis different like, talents and abilities throughout all the dorms. So in a way, it brings people together by bringing their different talents together. I think it's better than other schools because you get to kind of preview dorms before you get put there. I think other schools you just get thrown in. Yeah, you get to choose the people that you get to live with, which yeah. is important, so. And it was just an awesome feeling knowing that you can test out a dorm and if it doesn't really suit you, it's, it's not really a problem. You can always try somewhere else. So what I like about um, the MIT system is that each of the dorms really has its own personality because you get to experience different dorms before you make your choice. So you can really find a place where you fit in and where you like all of the people around you. MIT's housing process, it's... It's variable. I mean, it has a lot of variety, so that's nice about it. That's what's nice about it. And I just think that the MIT system, at first it seems really different, but it's in place so that your dorm is more than just where you eat and where you sleep. It's really a living experience and a living community. Well, first you have to go see all the dorms, which is a major thing to do. Like, you can't just go to one dorm and say, I love this place because you're going to say that about any dorm you go to. So go see all the dorms and then afterwards it's always about the people. It's about the people who live there, not necessarily the place itself. For me, Rex was like less about like getting free massages and more about like actually finding out where I want to live. Well, freshmen coming in should really look for a dorm that fits their personality, that they feel welcomed at, and that they know that it feels like home. Like some place where they get along really well with the people and that they want to be involved in. Okay. I chose my dorm because I liked the people I would be living with, and I liked the opportunities that being in my dorm's programs offered. I knew that like after sports practice or a long day of school, I could come home and it would feel like home. I like cooking, so I looked for a kitchen. <laughs> I chose my dorm because I'm kind of on the OCD side, um, as noted by my room's neatness. When you're looking for a dorm, you really want to think about whatever you like most, I guess, about your like living situation at home, like what things you really enjoy doing. So if you're someone who knows that you like that you study best in a, like a silent place, try to look for a dorm where the culture isn't going to be like too loud. Or if you know that you really like cooking, look for a place that has a lot of kitchens. Or if you know that I don't know, you like to jump in giant ball pits, then like, maybe you look for a dorm that has a giant ball pit. Um, I chose my dorm because um, I stayed there CPW and I liked it. So I thought, you know, don't broke what's... <laughs> don't... <laughs> don't say it's not broke. <laughs> All right, so our housing system is great, but how does it work? Okay, pay attention. Over the summer, you will want to spend some time learning about MIT's dorms and cultural houses. Use this DVD, the Guide to Residences, and individual dorms websites. Try to get an idea of which residences might be a good match for you. Next, go to the Housing Lottery website, where you'll rank each dorm in order of preference, fill out a short questionnaire, which will help with room assignments, and complete a quick survey to give us feedback on how our system is working. Make sure to do this before June 15th. Then, just kick back and enjoy your summer. In a few weeks, the results of the lottery will be posted online, and you can check back to see where you've been assigned. When you arrive on campus in August for orientation, you'll be moving into the house and room that you were assigned over the summer. 
but don't unpack yet. Over the next few days, you'll want to spend time out and around campus getting to know other people in your class. Schoolwork hasn't started yet, and this time is designed for you to meet people and enjoy yourself. You'll also want to spend some time visiting other residences and participating in RECS, which stands for Residence Exploration. During this time, every house will be having tours, social events, and other fun activities that show off the culture of each residence. This time is a great opportunity to meet upperclassmen and to get a sense of the diversity of campus life at MIT. At this point, you might wonder, is there any way for me to try living in a different place than I am now? Yes! There will be an adjustment lottery open during orientation. Simply get onto a computer and go back to the housing lottery website. Either indicate that you'll be staying in your current residence or enter a new set of preferences. You cannot be placed in a residence where you did not indicate a preference. The results will be available the next day. Then you'll go to the residence where you'll be living. Depending on the residence, you may have to submit preferences for areas of the building, such as floors, suites, or entries, or for roommates. The next day, the final room assignments will be posted. Even if you're staying in the residence you received over the summer, you may have to move to a different room. Now you can finally unpack and set up your new room. Welcome to MIT.